Hello beautiful people, welcome to another pose in this series of yoga poses. This is number six. This is one of my top 10 favorite poses. This is called flash prep and I'm also going to show you the variation of dorsal fit. So I'm going to give you three variations of this for a beginner or intermediate. This is not a, a complete beginner pose. So if you're a complete beginner, um, go to some of my other videos first before doing this one. Uh, this is intermediate to advanced and with the pose i will give you three different variations one being the intermediate two still being quite intermediate um a lot of my clients can do one and two uh, but three is quite advanced so it's just there for you if you want to give it a go or if you are an advanced yogi um, it gives you that option so don't feel like you have to do all the variations um and don't feel like you have to uh hold yourself back either so go for it if you feel like um, you want to challenge yourself. Yoga is free for wherever you're at and you should always work with where you're at and it's not about how good you are and how flexible you are. It is about feeling good, opening up your body, connecting to your spirit, connecting to your breath and challenging yourself and letting go of things that come up. Okay, so let's get into it. Flash prep. Come with your hands and knees. Bring your left forearm down first. Bring your right hand directly under your right shoulder. Inhale, push your left shoulder back, down and around. Exhale, straighten the legs. Now this is number one. So once your legs are here, push your weight back into your legs. Pull the chest up, pull your belly in, relax your head and neck. Don't move your head around. I am looking at the camera, just so you know. Okay, now you can bring your left leg straight up. This is Option two, if you want to get more advanced, pull your belly in, pull your chest up, breathe deeply. Head and neck relax. Option three is to bring your right hand back. Pull your arms back, breathe deep. If you're gonna do this, it is challenging, so just have a go with it. If you fall, just get back up and do it again. Bring your knees down. Okay, let's do the other side. Right forearm down left hand under left shoulder. This time you can see what my arm is doing better. So push your forearm back down around. Your shoulder should be firmly um, planted, pressing your forearm down. This will help put your chin. Pull your chest up. Exhale, straighten your legs. Option one. Option two, right leg up. Pull belly in, stretch leg up. Option three, left arm back. Breathe deep. It's a fun pose. Okay, bring your knees down. I'm also going to show you dorsal fin as well, just while we're here. This is also an advanced pose. So come back into that pose. And once you're in variation two, you bring your leg over like this and you can grab your foot. So this is quite advanced. I find it quite hard, okay. So balancing here, breathing deep. <laughs> yes, that means now. Okay, so that's it. And you can hold the pose for as long as you like or as for as short, short as you like. You can do this on its own. I recommend doing a bit of a warm up before it. I only do it towards the beginning of a yoga class. It is a really good preparation pose for doing inversions. It's great for strengthening the upper body and the core working on balance to full body pose. It's just also a lot of fun to do. So if you have any questions, feel free to send me a comment. Feel free to like this video and check out my other videos. Thank you so much for watching. Namaste.